And just in time for Halloween, a zombie star is rising from the dead. About every 80 years, the so-called blaze star system explodes violently, relighting a long dead star. So you might want to look up from your trick-or-treating because that explosion is expected to happen tonight. NASA astrophysicist Patty Boyd joins me now for more on this. Patty, first of all, I have to compliment the fit because I'm loving the Halloween spirit. Um, so talk me through this. What is a zombie star and why is this happening? Well, thank you, and I'm happy to talk you through a bit. We can't actually predict when the nova will occur, this explosion. It could happen tonight. It could happen a year from now or six months or a couple weeks. We know it's coming soon. So the star in question is what we call a white dwarf. It's basically a dead star. It's not burning anything. Our sun is burning hydrogen to helium. That's why it shines. It's alive. This star's dead, a dead white dwarf. It's in a binary system. It has a companion star and it's gobbling material from it, like a vampire, sucking that material onto the surface of the dead white dwarf. Eventually, there will be enough material on the surface that it will ignite a thermonuclear runaway explosion and get very, very bright. It'll become as bright as some of the stars we see in the constellations at night. So it should become a naked eye star in our night sky in the Corona Borealis constellation, which is in the western sky now. So how can people see this, and what will it look like? So it's going to look like there's a new star in the sky. It's not going to be the brightest star in the sky. You're not going to be able to see it, you know, flickering in, in moments. But what you should be able to see, especially right after it explodes, is that in this constellation, Corona Borealis, instead of the stars that you're going to get used to if you go study it, you'll see those stars and just one more. It'll look like a jewel in the crown of the corona. So what do scientists hope to learn from this? We're really interested in Novi because these explosions, when that happens, the material leaves the white dwarf and it gets spewed out into its neighborhood. And that includes things like carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, neon. These are actually made in stellar explosions and then distributed into the local uh, galaxy. Other stars are forming their planetary system and they'll suck this material into the planets as they're forming. This is where that material in our own solar system, in our planet, in the oceans, in our bones, in our blood, those materials come from stellar explosions. So cool. Also, Patty, Novi, is that plural of Nova? It is. We yep. learned a lot of new things today, including a new word. NASA <laughs> physicist Patty Boyd. Patty, thank you, and happy Halloween. Hey, happy Halloween to you, and thanks for having me.